PSG just signed Lionel Messi in the 2021 summer transfer window, and with that they are being said to have had one of the greatest transfer windows ever. But perhaps more talked about and anticipated in the coming season is the new front three that was established with Messi's arrival. The trio of Messi, Neymar and Mbappe is already the deadliest attacking trio in the world on paper. Everybody is talking about how prolific each of these three players are. We're talking about Argentina's number 10, Brazil's number 10, and France's number 10, all in the same team. Even PSG on their social media, particularly in the video that unveiled Messi, are already planting the idea of a trident of those three. Three of the best players in the world. They've not even played one game together and people are already comparing them to the great MSN trio of Barcelona, which went on to rampage in European football from 2014 to 2017. But while Messi, the new boy, settles in and is getting to know his teammates, it would appear that one of the new the established trio is not really interested in giving the footballing world what it wants to see in the new season. After Messi signed with the French Giants, rumours started flying around that Mbappe wanted to leave. To be fair, there have been talks about the young Frenchman leaving the Parisian club to go to Spain for a little while now, but it seemed to have grown more concrete since the Argentinian's arrival. So why does Kylian Mbappe want to leave PSG? Just before we get into the main reason, if you love football just as much as we do, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so you never miss an upload. Let's jump straight into the video. As it stands, the reports are that, although he's already played some games with the team this new season, Mbappe would like to leave PSG. But PSG, on the other hand, as you would expect, want him to stay. In recent years, particularly the last two seasons, PSG have come closer than they have ever come to winning the UEFA Champions League. The Parisian club has become one of the most successful clubs in Europe in the past decade, winning the league title and domestic cup multiple times. But the Champions League has always been the one that got away. However, in 2020, they got to the final for the first time in their history, which they ended up losing to Bayern Munich. In 2021, they fell in the semi-final to Pep Guardiola's Manchester City. But hey, they have indeed been knocking. So, many feel like these signings they made this summer, particularly the two four-times Champions League winners Sergio Ramos and Lionel Messi, could be exactly what they need to take them a step further to actually winning the elusive trophy. So, why would the World Cup winner want to jump ship at the time it seems it might actually successfully sail to shore for the first time ever? Well, the most popular reason we've seen so far is the one which we heard in 2017 when Neymar left Barcelona, that he doesn't want to be in the shadow of Lionel Messi. Of course, Messi in any team in the world is bound to be the best player in that team, and most likely the one to take the most praise when the team wins. So, people have said that the Frenchman perhaps wants to play for a team where he is the most important player, the superstar. And right now, considering Cristiano Ronaldo and Sergio Ramos have both left Real Madrid, Mbappe might just be the Spanish giant's most important player if he makes that move, especially considering that Eden Hazard has not really lived up to expectations since his big money move from Chelsea. Also, even before this window, there have been hints that Mbappe, who is known to be a big competitor, might at some point leave League One and go to a tougher and more competitive league. And right now, it looks like the stars are very much aligned. Surely, La Liga is a more competitive league than Liga One. Perhaps it sits in the list of the top two most competitive leagues in Europe. And, well, there have been links between him and Real Madrid for years now. To even add to that, it's a known fact that not many clubs in the world right now can afford Mbappe. The big clubs that normally can are either in debt right now, like Barcelona, or have already made big money signings this window, like Chelsea and the two Manchester clubs. That leaves Madrid running pretty much unopposed for the signature of the 22-year-old, and it would appear that they are very interested in signing him. Tony Cruz, the veteran Real Madrid midfielder, in fact, already said that he won't be surprised if Madrid end up signing Mbappe soon. On Kylian's end, if he wants to leave, he's in a better negotiating seat than his current employers who don't want him gone. His contract to PSG ends in 2022. That is at the end of this season. 
Therefore, if he doesn't renew his contract, which seems like what will be the case, he may end up going for free in a year's time. Surely PSG wouldn't want that, especially not after they broke the bank for him only four years ago. Left to PSG, Mbappe would remain in the club and maybe even retire there. But as it stands, they could either make some money from his exit in this window or have him walk for free next year. Surely the latter sounds like a really poor decision to make. Kylian Mbappe is super talented, young, and one of the most sought-after players in the world right now. It would be a huge mistake if they let him go for free next year when Madrid are reportedly offering 150 million euros for him right now. And that money could very well come in handy should they choose to take it, with the big names and, as a result, the big salaries they brought over to Le Parc de France this window, there is a possibility that the club would have some problem with financial fair play. Even though, as of now, they insist they've not broken any rule, it would surely be safer to offload Mbappe and his huge wage bill now that he wants out and avoid any complications with FFP. More so, as reports have it, if Mbappe leaves, whether this year or next, that could open up the door for Cristiano Ronaldo to come in. Ronaldo, whose contract with Juventus expires next year, will be able to join PSG for free if both parties agree. And although he'll be 37 at the time and way past his prime, the potential of seeing both Messi and Ronaldo on the same team for the first time ever has the entire world of football salivating already. But, well, all that is still in the future. Right now, there's still a lot to look out for. Will Mbappe end up renewing his contract with PSG? Will he be sold to Real Madrid this summer? Will he leave PSG for free next year? There's still about two weeks left in the 2021 summer transfer window, and if you know anything about football transfers, you would know that that is more than enough time for absolutely anything to happen. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any of our amazing content. Catch you in the next video. Bye!